Okay. All right. So uh, <laughs> I have yeah. got, uh, let's just go ahead and start. The thing is, is I have a PP, a, a PowerPoint, and I'm trying to change this logo right here, Dan. See how I can move my logo around? But it can't, we can't, I can't get it over here because I can't get this erased. And I right click, and what I right click, this is what it does on the side. And then when I come up here and I hit like, uh, to insert and in, or look at the header, I get this thing on um, my header. I'm not seeing anything. I'm just seeing your face. I'm not seeing the PowerPoint. Huh? Okay. <laughs> not screen sharing yet. Oh well, did it? Okay. I'm it, I'm very familiar with PowerPoint. If you'll well, send then it. Then I'm over. coming over to your house, and would you please <laughs> help me? <laughs> well, I have a meeting tonight. Remember. Oh, that's <laughs> right. We have to get that done. Um, um, what I suggest is send it to me, and I'll take a look at it and in detail tell me what you want to do, and then uh, we'll try to get that done. Okay. Well, I don't know why you guys couldn't see my screen share, but anyway, okay. Make a long story short. And then you got my note about I need the PDF um, converted or whatever, whatever it was in Word so I can make the changes that you wanted to uh, the two-page um, yeah. November yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get that over to you. Uh, <laughs> okay. Everything is just, so the thing is, is I feel like everything is in mock speed. I used to think it was in mock speed and now it's in uber, uber fast mock speed. Is anyone else? feeling that way this project or just overall the world i think and that's a good question in this project and in overall in the world am i the yeah. only one that's feeling this way in this project <laughs> like it's going really fast and in the world it's going really fast like my head's spinning around is am i the only one no. Overall in the world, I definitely well, feel it on yeah. the project. I'm just on the nibbles. So what I'm hitting, it is moving fast, but it's fine. Okay. And so I think I have this like stellar group of people here. Does anybody else have anything to say? Because I think it's time, you know, that we just speak about where we're at and what we're doing. And I just wanted, I, I mean, we have such a great project. This is so amazing that this is coming together. Like, like I'm so amazed. And, um, and, it, and Dan's meeting with some people and we've got the land that the guy that's really very influential here in Las Vegas or was influential, what'd you say? But he, he makes some decisions in the gardening and the schools. And so we have a place now to put this, uh, a, let's call it a, an atrium. You know, it's gonna be an atrium because it's a closed loop system. It's gonna be really exciting. And then Grant's got this really cool thing that's going on that he's building these, you know, what's your, you, you got abundant, uh, concept that we could just pull these out and we put them on this amazing land that Gwen has got ready and it's in this really cool place and in this really cool place if we have water issues we can take this dehumidifier and we can use it for water and but we can use this waste that we all create and we're taking this waste to power that dehumidifier and then Jim's on this call as well, who's helping with these lasers and technology to help us like get better in our bodies and help with that. And Brian, who's really helped me get some clarity on what we're doing and why is some really cool inner circle people. And like, yay for us, because that sounds like we've pulled off some pretty tricky stuff. And there was a guy that's supposed to be on the call and I don't know uh, where he's at, but he is involved with oxygenating water and doing things uh, on that level so that we can grow not really healthy food, but we grow up with our waste and we create these really great microcosms of these microgrids that are off grid. And it's such a great, great, it's spanning both Republicans, Democrats, uh, red, uh, black, white, uh, right, you know, 
boy, girl. It's this is an all inclusive deal. And I'm so excited. And so these are the things that I would encourage everyone now where we have this event in, to the, on Saturday and they have asked us to um, move the event. They're having it still, but they're moving the event. And I'm not so sure what's going on because of everything. And so I want everyone to have a very positive experience with their time with me. And um, so I wanna know, uh, does everyone ready? Well, I guess the next step is if they uh, put this event on and we have to start presenting that, is everybody really ready to do their part to take this to the next level? Are we all ready for that? Yeah, I wanted to add, you asked earlier about what we're working on. Uh, Gustavo's pretty much finished up with Gwen's property in 3D. And we're meeting with the VR guy on Friday. He's gonna show us what he's completed. And if it's, if it's satisfactory, you might be able to show that in a limited way at your event. Sure, and then that's just when people come and this is what I say is people can come and see our actual event. And even though maybe people aren't believing what we're doing is really a viable option or that they really think it's we're gonna be able to pull it off, we're gonna show them because they can watch this yeah. and see it. And we really are doing our very best. All of us are working deferred. We're all helping each other out. And it, when there's profit to be made, the people that do their part are gonna get paid. I think that's fair, but it may not be in, let's say, you know, hard, hard US dollars. It could be in a lot of different lifestyle things that we have because of what we're doing. And so, and then we're raising this capital and the capital, gosh, I mean, Grant, I mean, if we could just, I'm, pull, I'm pulling the numbers together, but if we were to raise a million and 70,000, so we could, you know, raise it an easy raise. Mm -hmm. And then thinking 250 to put this whole community that we want to do and pick the best place to put the community so we have the best place dan you can help vet that as well okay. and um then we move forward with uh and and, and a million a million seventy is a lot but we can do so much with it my brain's just and i have this powerpoint presentation but you guys can't see it and i think it's pretty good powerpoint presentation but uh you guys can't see that or anything Nope. nope. What am I doing wrong? It says screen share. Screen share. Now you raised a point. I want to clarify. We are having our symposium Saturday and it's in the same location, correct? Yeah. So David's going to join our call right now and he's, um, it's going to be, and he's getting on, um, uh, and he doesn't know any of you guys, but he's got some pretty cool stuff as well. And, um, but he doesn't know much about us and he just missed that whole first part. So he doesn't know what we're doing and how we're doing it. So if someone wants to um, chime in and tell him that would be a good thing for him to hear. Is he on? Oh yeah, he's muted. Hey, it says asked to mute. No, he's he is mute. He's not he's not muted, but he's on. Yeah. So anyway. Okay. Well, hey David, I want to give you a, a real short uh, synopsis of what we're doing here. So we're trying to build sustainable communities that are entirely self-contained uh, in a microgrid that uh, create water from air, uh, recycle their own waste to make energy, and uh, use other alternative energy techniques to be uh, entirely self-sustained. And we have uh, permaculture farming techniques that can make an abundance of uh, additional produce for the community. So that's what we're talking about right now. And we want to hear about uh, what you have to offer to our project. And I like that he's on a swing set, David, because you and I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm relaxing. <laughs> yeah, David. David's a kindred spirit. He's like he's like the real deal too. I wish he was uh, being able to see you guys. Yeah, I'm trying to there. get you guys on speaker. I don't know how to yeah. hold on. Yeah, I can't. Background filters. Just, anyway, uh, we can so, hear you now. We can hear you. Yeah. You can hear me. Yeah. Yeah. I can't hear you guys though. <laughs> I can oh, hear you, no, but it's really no way. slow. You I'd have to put my ear thing? up on the thing. Oh, oh my look, gosh. At the top, look at the top left. No, I can hear. It's just really hard to hear. 
Hey, in the top left corner, there's like a button you push to it makes the volume return if you're on a call. Oh, is it the top? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. See, we've oh, got. Now some... I hear you. <laughs> so I was just saying, he, he's saying very quickly. Grant, say it again, either really quickly or somebody else tell him quickly, quicker than what Grant did, what he I'll just said. It. So we're working on sustainable communities that are entirely off grid in a microgrid that um, makes its own water, recycles its own waste for energy, and produces an abundance of produce for the community. And we just want to hear what else you can add to the project and welcome to the team. Thank you. Um, yeah, that, that uh, go ahead. Perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so he hasn't told you we've got a lot of that lined up, a lot of that. We talked about that. We've got land that we can put these on. We've got technology. We've got people that are uh, working deferred. We've got veterans that are on board to uh, protect and um, help produce on these properties, you know, and you've got fire, you know, some really great, and I didn't know whether you wanted to kind of fill them in a little bit. You've got some really great technologies. These, there's a lot of people here that we've been working pretty diligently and it's coming together really nicely, how it's all coming together. Perfect. Um, so a little bit about me. I'm, I'm, I'm mostly, I've been a business owner for about 30 plus years owning my own stuff. I've always been independent, really never worked for a lot of people. Um, so in that aspect, I'm a good self-starter and one that makes things happen because that's how my life's generally been. Um, I've met through this time, a huge amount of people with incredible technologies. They couldn't do anything with them. I mean, because they, they literally had no ability to go out and do that or market it or do it. And when they did, they got quashed very quickly because mm -hmm. the powers to be would do that. Mm -hmm. And and if for a person who doesn't understand how to do that to begin with, it's very discerning to them. They, they drop out quickly. Yeah. So David, yeah. really quick, we have, this ends at 1230. We try to keep this meeting short. So everybody okay. has, cause we always want to make sure everybody gets in what they need. So just to the gist, we just are putting something together and we have focused on what, how we're moving forward. There's an event on October the 23rd. It looks like it's going to be a little shy of what we'd like. We would like it to be a lot better, but so for right now, we're doing this, these type of virtual uh, board, board meetings so that we can show transparently the truth about what we're doing, the problem and what the solution is and how we're using a problem like waste in the landfill, which is the largest landfill in the nation. Yeah, it's in Las Vegas. I mean, you just moved here and we have the largest one, second largest in the world. And so, you know, we're taking the waste and we're using it to our advantage instead of using it to the disadvantage. And so we're we've got this system and we're cleaning up the planet and not just just physically, but and health you know, reasons. And there's people on this call that have stellar health stuff and so do you and also emotionally and there's people that are helping as well to so we're more self-reliant so what do you think you add what's something do you have you have any questions for us well I'm, I'm basically trying to see where I could fit with you guys I mean and I don't believe yeah. that there isn't a place I could but where you're you might need some help I'm always there to help. I'm if I'm not good at what you would want me to do, I will tell you. I'll be right up front with you. I'll tell you I'm not. Okay, so we're looking and, for developments in New Mexico. You've got anything there that we could help you develop? You know, use this technology to move forward with. To better, I do. Yes, you know. uh, New Mexico. We have a, a ranch we're working on securing right now called the Blackstone Ranch, and it's a, a forty room resort that was supposed to be used as a hotel, but apparently Taos won't let them do it so it's never been able to open it's on 190 acres of land it's already set up to grow food it's already set up to be a, a, it already has a water source that's out of out of control good water and it already has all the makings of putting a, a self-sustainable community there between three homes on the property and uh, and the main resort area that has over 40 rooms that are all fully furnished and done already. Cool. There was over $55 so million dollars put into the property. It's 190 acres. 
Okay. So we have this meeting on the 23rd. We're just kind of focusing on just this meeting. Um, we would love to invite you back to have some more discussion about that, how we can help. Uh, we are trying to put um, kind of some spin on how, on how are we going to get this message out to as many people as we can, but we want to make sure that the solutions that we're investing in are uh you have a good chance of being successful. And we run through a proprietary uh, process of doing that that shows um, the credibility and the merit that the that the that it's going to have a good chance of success. So we'd like you to kind of talk to us about that as well, because then we can show that when we run through a process like that, we everybody's technologies are vetted. And I think you've got some really cool ones that would be really interesting to put together in these communities to grow people healthy. Can I, can I ask him a quick question? Yeah. Hey, David, uh, Rosalie mentioned something about putting oxygen into water. Are you using that for uh, gray water treatment or is it just to improve the quality of the water? Just to improve the quality of water is through a, a guy named Dave Bagley. And Dave Bagley is a very, he's got other, other, other stuff he has other than that. But yes, it's, it's an oxygenated water to the point where it would heal your body, actually. Okay, excellent. So it's an incredible technology. It's probably one of the best waters I've ever drank. Frequencies. Good. Frequencies. Gotcha. Is that fire water, that Rosalie? Fire yeah, that's water. fire water. Cool. Yeah. So <laughs> we're trying to work with Dave on this project up in Taos now. So to come into there, because that water source there is an, an incredible water source. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you well, bottling stone is that you are breaking up like crazy, man. I can't hear yeah. you. I was just yeah. thinking, what the heck? No. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a, quite a lot of booze. Yeah. Oh, ET in the, ET in the is it, where's, this, where's this guy been drinking at? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you we have a very entertaining crowd and you, you would be surprised, David, how well this is going to pull off. I mean, it might look like we don't know what we're doing, but it's like going to be so fun to see this pull off. No, just don't, don't mind me. I'm a, I'm, I'm a kidder and teaser. I, I, I don't take it personally. Okay, I have does, fun with life. I have fun with life. Big does time, anybody so. have anything to say? We've got 20 minutes, 10 minutes or so. Is there something we need to talk about? I mean, I would love this to go, this message to go viral. That'd be great. So when I say viral in a good way, you know, uh, but I have I, a question. Uh, yeah. Uh, is there anything left as far as material uh, for the event? On the 23rd, sure. you yeah, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to, everyone, please look at the website so that we go back and I'm going to add that PowerPoint to the website, but look at it quickly and tell Grant and I and David, if there's anything that you see that needs to be addressed, because we can, we are going to be having um, people looking at this a lot and you want, you know, we want a first good impression. So, right. So you'll, then, you'll email that to us, Rosalie. Yeah, I'm going to do that today. Like my hair is okay. even falling out. I'm so stressed out, you guys. And I have a lot of hair. And uh, it's... <laughs> so yeah. we're, we're not modeling the water yet, uh, but we're working on that and we're getting everything together so we can. So okay. very cool. Because that, that question was asked, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Point of okay. clarification, if I could ask, is this uh, event on the 23rd the music event or is it yes. just our symposium? It is the music event that's going to show for 500 people. Yeah, the guy from, um, okay. yeah, he, from Big and Rich is playing and three other bands are playing. It's a, a pretty big deal and they're paying to 500 people, kind of a little private con conference because they need to keep things to a minimum. Uh, and that's, you know, but he's a big, big name to a small elite crowd. And um so that's pretty interesting, but we're, yeah, I just want to see how it all works out. We'll see. And the, the, so I've got the, the PowerPoint. So everyone, please look at the website. I'll send you, you already know the link, but I'll send it to you again, uh, along with the PowerPoint that I have right now. Just take a look at it. Uh, it'll be on that website. So you'll have to go in and uh, give me a minute to download it because I have to download it and put it in there. I was trying to get someone to help me to put originally how to put the, uh logo over the other logo so um 
So anyway, does anybody else have any com comments and help that needs to be done or help that they need? So is are we still having an independent symposium that's just ourselves? Yes. Yes. And what this was we that? were just this this is the date. This was just for these guys to see what they, you know, are off not offering, but helping them out. Um, mm -hmm. I wanted to see how before my whole thing was to figure out get together and enjoy each other, which sometimes that's the, you know, the, the thing that's lacking is that we don't feel entertained and edified by other people. <laughs> Break the ice, right? Yeah. Yeah. So enjoy, you know, joy getting to know each other. Second is to make sure that, that we get this message out to as many people as we can and do our part. Um, and I wanted at least a hundred people to hear this message in some form or fashion. So check. And my next expectation that I work with Brian at, by the way, he's amazing in getting you to clarity. If anybody has any questions, I mean, I've gone through a lot of therapy and he's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, I've, pretty, we, I've got, I've got Bob here with me as well. Hi, yeah. Hi Bob. Yeah. So he knows me as well. So anyway, this is all very interesting. So we put this together and I said, I don't want anyone really to want to live in my, the places yet because we don't have them um, designed, but the concept is there and we know we can pull it off if we could just get like about three more pieces. And that's all we need is about three more pieces. And then, and funding is one of them and volunteering is another. Um, and volunteering will get us funding, and I think we can get it through grants and philanthropic and also through, uh, you know, private investors. As an investor, I know this is a pretty, this is a great deal. This isn't just yeah. a good deal. This is a great, a great deal. And we're a purpose-driven network of people that have, come, you know, are transparent and logical and compassionate. So, hey, Rosalie, I just remembered something I forgot to tell you. Um, yeah. Rex and I have a contact in California. His name's Paul Damon, and he's in charge of a veterans group for rehabil rehabilitating veterans, uh, mostly like emotionally. But I'm pretty sure they would love to volunteer to help build domes. We met him at a dome building course. Sure. And there's a so, guy on this call now, and he's and he's involved in veterans as well. And uh, looks like we might have woken yes. him up. <laughs> yes. So. <laughs> yes. Uh Rosalie, this is a full Tyrone Hopkins, and I'm a 100% disabled vet, and I'm like you. I'm here to volunteer, do whatever, to make this uh, a reality, uh, Rosalie's vision. And so I, I'm excited, and uh, let me get off here. I just wanted to say that I'm here and listening. Yeah, but and tell so them about your, you've got a film producer. Who's this film producer that you know that wants to do some? Oh, yes. Uh, his name is Rodney Henry. And uh, he's out of Hollywood. He's a major producer, HBO, ESPN. He worked with uh, Stefan Mulberry, this basketball player who's huge in China. Oh, yeah. And he helped market this $15 tennis shoe that they made over $350,000 on. And so uh, he's very, I'm a uh, veteran historian at the Harrison House, and I'll tell you about that, but, but he's very interested in West Las, historic West Las Vegas, and uh, possibly doing uh, documentaries. But uh, my thing is, you know, to uh, be a part of what's going on here and, and pass it along to people, you know, who would want to invest and uh, have uh, abilities to, you know, help you throw a big, bigger net and expose your your vision to more people. And I think mm -hmm. that alone will, will help in a lot of, in the long run. So that's what sure. I'm here trying to bring awesome. together with. Mm -hmm. Very, very quickly. Um, I know that might be off the subject. It isn't off the subject to me though. Um, so I have a, a, a recipe for a, a movie of the Garden of Eden, how it was really put together and was always wanting to do a movie and create the garden at the same time. And you could do that with our group. That's what we're doing. See how that works? Ta -da. So the movie, the, the movie stage would be the garden we were building for humanity. 
Yeah. So, so our, our gardening technique that we promote is actually called back to Eden gardening. And he got the idea. <laughs> that idea. There you go. So man, I, have, awesome. I have the recipe for it for the producers if they want it. All right. All right. We, That's cool. we, yeah, we have the recipe for actually building it. That's what we're trying to tell you. A lot of yeah. the heavy lifting so, has been done, David. A lot of it. We've done it's a lot of so, it. You're gonna be impressed. So if we do the movie, people will know the place. It's like building the dream student uh, the field of dreams that people uh -huh. could go to. Yeah. But that's why we that's why we have to be completely transparent because you know, we, we're doing the best we can, but I can tell you, it's going to be entertaining. Who wouldn't be entertained with this group of people? <laughs> yeah, it's going to launch a lot of good media opportunities. I agree. Okay. So, but the reality yeah. is, is we've got people that can do this. We can pull this off. You guys, this is no joke. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, we were built to, to our DNA is built to to overcome challenges and we're doing this. So today I'm gonna to get out those many things that I can to you guys to, to and I'm gonna put an email together. Okay, I'd like to add one note, which is that just as we saw this magical synchronicity between this idea of the Garden of Eden and a movie and Grant's name already being the, the Garden of Eden, the same thing happened with my land where I had always uh, picture it being called abundance and that and Grant's company is already called abundance. Also, when you see the the topo uh, drawing that has been done, that's exactly how I've always envisioned it. And I never thought it was possible. So anyway, I just have to put a note for magic. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and then uh, the virtual reality guys are, and we've got um, Grant's team too putting together. I don't know if he could get on the call, but you should see what Gustavo's built uh, in three dimension. And Dan is, and I and a few others are vetting to make sure all of the technology is going to be the best it can be, but we're all being really transparent about everything. We've got veterans that are involved. So a lot of things can come together. We've got a guy, uh, Braxton, he is a bottler. He he they won best new beverage of the year in 2000 and or in 19. So mm. it's not like we're playing with riffraff. I don't think that we I think we've got some, <laughs> you know, I think we've got some really good things going on. So what's our next steps? Does anybody have any other questions or concerns? We've got just a we're couple. Gonna, um Calaveras, it was the next step is to take Gustavo and Grant's. A package and schedule a zoom meeting with our team with the county yeah i have that same thing happening tomorrow with grant on friday right grant with the sonoma county and then again into vegas so uh dan we're meeting with uh, or you're meeting with the, the 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 with the representatives and we're putting together he and i will be offering classes here in vegas um for emergency but also to teach people that we can build this abundantly and that it's not something that has to be done slowly we can do it through a reality tv show <laughs> called the garden of eden and yeah. we're and we're uh and we're gardening like eden you know and we're using local sparks regenerative local sparks uh light and atriums and and everything else that we need to do and we'll gather funding and let's go after it like hell won't have it i'm ready yeah yep. is everyone in say aye any opposed aye. Aye. <laughs> okay anyone else aye. have anything to say hallelujah Go ahead. Rosalie, will you be doing any kind of uh, social media activity over the weekend? I need help with that. Again, you guys, I'm not, I just need help with that. You guys, I, I would love to tell me what to do. I'll Facebook. I'm not really good at, at uh, doing this kind of stuff. So, but I'll just go on live at Facebook all the time. I got to figure that out. I got a lot of things that I need to do. And if someone really wants this to be successful, you guys should help me. Okay, I have um, I have a, a ch I can't say a child, but my my daughter's boyfriend is really technical, and he's okay. he's he's a very open guy, and he he wants what we're doing. He he just loves everything that we uh, that I tell him about it. 
Okay, so, so do, he'd be willing to help out with all that, and he's really good at it. So would you ask him to call me today? Because I don't want to waste my time, and I don't, and I want to make sure my efforts are benefiting all of us. And I, I need your, you need help in that arena. So Rosalie, okay, I don't want to waste your time either. <laughs> also, uh, Rosalie, if you had decided you want to pay for it, my, my social media team has a uh, hashtag bundles and viral content strategy. But it does cost yeah, me. let's get some. So we probably, yeah, I'm ready to pay for it. So go ahead. You know, just everything keeps coming out of my pocket. My husband, that's right. why I said it. Just, but I'm willing well, to. You know, Facebook advertising and, and um, uh, no, Instagram actually is better. Yeah, yeah. Instagram. But Instagram works really good. It's not that expensive. If you need some funding for that, I'll help as well. So mm. thank you, David. See, we, I, you know, I love. Uh, just sometimes when you start to feel like, cause I'm really bad at asking for money. You guys, this is, I'm, the, I'm in the worst position because I hate asking people for money. I don't I'm mind asking people. You let me do it. Okay. You do it. Cause I'm good at asking just people to, to help me, help me help you kind of, I, you know, I'm, that's what I'm good at. And Grant and everyone on this call are really good at helping me help them. And I just really, 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 really appreciate you guys' help when it helps back and forth. Mm. So, yep. Like I said, when we meet each other as well, it'll it'll help us to know each other a little more. I'm better with energies when I'm around them, so. Okay. Well, there's about four of us that are gonna be here and about 12 of us that were possibly gonna come that may not be able to come. And then there's some people on the group call that you'll meet that are even aren't here yet, but anyway. So I guess it's going to, uh, you know, I will, I do need some help to get the social media. David, I'll reach out back to you and Dan, I'll get you the paperwork that they need um, to have copied and Grant, I guess we'll do the, we'll use that PDF that you have, the one instead that I did, but the, cause I just didn't, if you could soften the edges for me on that, I'll show you what I mean if we can just do that. And then anything else, that's what mm -hmm. I need to get done this weekend, this weekend. And then so. Get it to me by tomorrow afternoon so I can make copies of what we need. Um, also, uh, we do need to talk soon about the greenhouses that we're going to do as a prototype here in Las Vegas. We've already got the land approved for it. So we need to talk about that. Fulton, yeah. Semper Fi. I'm a Marine. Uh, Semper Fi. <laughs> Since I'm a Marine 28 years. So anything God I can bless. do you. Let me know. I owe you for your service. No I don't know what that means, but that must be some code word that we don't, I don't know, but I appreciate that. <laughs> Simplify me. Always faithful. Always faithful. Always faithful. Yep. Cool. It's for Marines talk. Wow, never I like it. <laughs> and we never leave a man behind. No. Nope. We have all these vets on the street. We can't leave them behind. No. Amen to that. Amen is right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm um, so. Rosalie, as I'm saying, tomorrow uh, we're meeting with the VR guy. I already told you. As soon as, as soon as we get that file ready, if it's good, I'll send it to you. Maybe bring a projector to your event. You could, you know, shoot it up on the wall or something. Might be oh, good wow. You have oh. it? You'll have it done? So Gustavo's finished his. We gave it to the VR guy yesterday. He said he'll have something to show us on Friday just to show what he can do. Uh -huh. If it's good enough, you could potentially present it by Saturday. And just have it shooting on the back of a wall. That's cause so crazy because they just moved it into a place. So we're going to have a wall behind our back. So we could just have it projected right on during That's the show. I was envisioned. So people could literally walk up and see it. I think it'd be a great draw to the, to the site. And you you talk That's about great. It. Do you still want me to bring uh, two tables and chairs? They got the tables and chairs set there. What's going to be like in a clubhouse setting. So it's going to be a little bit more intimate. And, you know, like I said, there's going to be, it's going to be less people, but more people. And it'll feel like more people it won't be so expansive, but because we're being careful about everything, which we should be, um, everybody's just taking precautions. So they've limited the amount of people that can come. Okay. So, so I'll bring my notebook. We can put anything we want on the screen. On I'm going to, I, if you could do a list, that's an email list, you know, that says email and then their phone number, their name, email and, right. um, phone number. And then, you know, tell them this is really, we're old school. This is if they want information, they're going to have to give us their correct one, not their wrong one that I always give out. <laughs> so, Now, remember, Saturday morning, I'm teaching 
a class for 60 people, but after 12 o'clock, I'll be available. Yeah, right. That's I, like I said, we got some stellar people. This is, this is, we got to get this message out and uh, go to the website. The second thing, if you go to the website, just look at it and tell me if there is something glaringly wrong with it. Please do. It's local sparks. You guys know that local sparks. I'm not going to email that out. And then I will give me, like I said, give me a, a few minutes after this call to upload the PD, the P, the PowerPoint. And then Grant, you get me over the things. Does anybody have a projector that we can push up on the wall or do I need to go buy that? I'm going to check. I know where I may be able to get one. Um, I'll let you know tonight. Okay. After my meeting. Thank I you. I have one more uh, pragmatic question. Um, since it's a nonprofit event, are you going to have like receipts to give people for donations for? Yeah, okay. Thanks, yeah I have that. I have that. And then we also have t-shirts and um, they're pretty cool. We just, I just ordered t-shirts. Um, they're not like the ones I'm wearing. They're different, um, mm -hmm. but they're, I like them. And um, we will be take, you know, asking people to donate and go on our website and we'll have, I'm gonna get, bring a big receipt book cause I, you know, I don't know how, and I have this little swipey thing that we'll be doing. Um, and uh, so we'll just see what happens and so I'll ask people to, you know, get involved And the more people we have more involved, uh, the more this word gets out, the more funding we get, the more, you know, and it's all about helping, you know, everyone because the more people we have, the, the easier it is it's going to be to, you know, solve um, some serious problems because I do, I am mean, concerned about our kids. So anyway, but Rosalie, um, localsparks.org? Dot com. Dot com. Okay. Com. Dot com. Yep. Rosalie or rosaliebingham.com and and localsparks.com. So yeah. Okay. And anything okay. else? That's it. Grant and Rosalind and, and myself, we need to get together too. And whoever else you want involved on the uh, air to water on the vendors we've been talking to. And then also the ability to actually produce um, sustainable food of about 110 pounds a day for animals from that system. We, we should probably do that. Uh, do you want to do week. that next, next week? week? Yeah. After David, do you want to be on that week. call? That seems, sounds pretty interesting to me that you would might think that's pretty interesting. Do you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I would, I would like to be on that call. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Anything else? That's it for me. All right. See you guys Saturday, and David, I'll talk to you and Dan. Bye, everyone. I will be, I'll be there Saturday. Could you send the information on where that's at? I don't think yeah, I got it. So. I will. I'll get right. it to you. All right. All right. Bye -bye. Thank you very much. All God right. bless, everybody. Right. Take Love care. Respect everybody. Have a blast, you guys. <laughs> nice to meet you, Dan. Good luck. <laughs> nice to meet you, Fulton. Let's hope it's good. Uh, uh, I